everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabina and today I'm gonna to be doing a first day beachy wave hair tutorial using a flat iron. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieve my waves, then please keep on watching. I blow dried and then this is what it looks like. So it's very silky, helps for the flat iron to glide through your hair. For day two, that's where I use my curling wand and I'll link the video for that above. Really, I don't think you need to spend a ton of money on a flat iron. I literally Googled what's the best, you know, best flat iron. This particular flat iron came up for $35, I believe. I will try to link that below in the description box. This is a one inch ceramic flat iron. It has floating plates for flexibility and smoothness when styling and it has a round body shape so you can do like flips and curls. So I really like also that you can adjust the temperature on this flat iron. I have mine set for not quite all the way to the top but pretty high up there. Now my hair is very fine but I have a lot of it. I don't section off my hair or anything so I have been doing a middle part. So I'm just going to brush through my hair oh I have some glitter in there and the brush that I love using is these um, like wet brushes I just brush through smooth my hair out I'll take a section of hair you know about that much and I'm going to put my wand in it and I go rather quickly and try to run my hair through the flat iron. Sometimes I'll mess up and you might see it and I'll get bends in my hair. I'm not like perfect at using the flat iron. So then I'm going to take another section. This one, I think what I'm going to do is curl it toward my face. The first one I curled away from my face. Oh, and I could see I already got a little bend, but the hair comes out in you know, a really nice wave. And I just kind of toss this up, try to get it out of the way. I don't mind having some straight strands. That's kind of part of the messy look. And then I kind of just like did a little flip of the, the wrist there. And I'll keep going around my hair, just like literally picking up, you know, random, sections of hair and I want to try to go right away and then kind of open up the iron. Now the back is the trickiest because you know you can't really quite see. This one kind of fell out so I'm gonna stick that in there. I'm gonna go around my head taking up little sections of my hair and kind of letting go. I don't curl a ton of the hair in the back. I like to leave the ends of my hair out so it gives more of a messy wave look instead of like a curl. And so this one got a little bit bendy there, but you know, I can always go back and fix it or sometimes it ends up looking okay once it's all blended. I'm gonna kind of keep working on the back sections of my hair and literally, you know, I can't see, I just kind of guess. And I pick up whatever doesn't feel hot. See how those hairs just kind of fell out. So I'll just pick those up in another section. Oh, this is a lot harder to do on camera than it is in the bathroom. Now that I finished that, I'm gonna go to the front actually. And I'm gonna take this, make sure I brush it through and I'm gonna go away from my face. I'm going to turn and then see how it kind of leaves these straight. That's, that's what I want. I'm going to take this next section up here on the top. And then this is the section that I'm going to curl toward my face. So I'm going to go this direction. I find like not grabbing perfect sections is what I like. I just like the more messy type of look and if I don't get a section um you know that doesn't bother me like these short ones underneath I just kind of let them be straight so now I'm gonna kind of go back and look for little pieces I might like 
pre-grab this. And then I usually let this sit and cool and I do my makeup and then I come back to it and then put my products in. For today, I'm not gonna put my makeup on. Um, I'm just gonna let this kind of sit for another minute or so. I'm gonna take my fingers and run them through my hair like this. So I can kind of see what I need to recurl or not. You know, these pieces are the ones that I curled toward my face and they just kind of break up the look a little bit. And I just really like how that looks. So I can see that this one didn't quite curl as much as I wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo this one again. And I'm curling away from my face and I'm trying to leave the, whoop, ends out. Oh, and by the way, I have these silicone pads for my hot tools in the bathroom. These are awesome. I got this at Walmart, super cheap. So it's really great to use when you have a flat iron or um, just a curling iron or a wand or whatever. So it doesn't burn um, your sink or whatever you leave it on. I really, really love those. That is like pretty much all I do. I might, you know, go back if I'm picky like this. and kind of give that more of a bend. You know, I don't really look at the back of my hair. I just kind of feel. Now that I finished um, curling my hair, I have a Holy Grail product by Garnier Fructis. It's their texture tea spray. I cannot find this at the drugstore anymore. Thank God Amazon sells these, so I buy them in packs of three. They're like $10.99. I'll put the link for that below. And I do love putting texture spray in my hair. Since my hair is so fine and, um, silky so I find putting the texture spray in helps give it like some grit and I like to put that up in the root as well so I do that first and then final step is using some hairspray I'm using the Pantene air spray in hold three I really like this I don't like to use a lot of hairspray because it weighs down my hair I like to make sure that I get hairspray on the like bottom, if that makes sense. And then I just kind of smooth anything that is out of place. This is the final look. I hope the tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if this tutorial helped you using your flat iron to achieve these beachy waves. And thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.